All right, and hey there, Proxians, and this is Prox right here, and guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Final Fantasy IX Let's Play. So, if you guys missed out during our last episode, we are now finally here in the Aoife Tree, and uh, I don't know if we are going to be going and taking care of the Soul Cage. Uh, I know that in the last episode, I was screwing up on the boss's name. I kept on calling it the Soul Tree, but it's close. It was close. I, I, it, it is shaped as a tree, so I guess you could actually call it a, a, a Soul Tree, not a Soul Cage, because it's not really a cage. But anyways, it doesn't really matter, because we're going to be hopefully going and... And hopefully we're gonna go and take care of that boss within this episode uh, I know that this uh, whole Ifa tree is gonna take us quite a, a little bit of a long time to like get us through into everything because uh, there's quite a bit of chest that we also do need to go and pick up such as the Lamia's flute and also the healing rod those are basically two new items that we can actually go and grab here within this area so make sure they actually do go and pick up on those because for the healing rod you can actually get yourself a brand new ability known as or, or a brand new move I think uh, for your white mage uh, for dagger which that is gonna be known as healer so not a bad move uh, at all so you can go and add that if you want to uh, Lamia's flute is also another thing that you do want to go and have and that is going to be an upgrade for Ico unfortunately I don't really have the fairy flute which that I think is like the highest of the uh, of the flute so far uh, compared to the Lamia's flute but unfortunately I don't really have that right now um, but for right now let's just go and keep on moving forward here for today and let's keep on doing what we need to do here watch out for the battles as well too while we're at it now, uh, also too, uh, while walking around here inside the Ifa tree, uh, sometimes uh, while walking around, sometimes you can get stuck on some of the corners, but just be a little bit careful because normally most of the times you will probably get yourself attacked by an enemy here most of the times. But anyways, uh, I, I think uh, here within this place, uh, from what I did say during the last episode, is that when we come here inside the Ifa tree, majority of these enemies are actually going to be undead enemies. So you can literally go and just have undead killer and have like any type of white mage type of spell and you can literally just knock out all of these guys as quickly as possible um also too uh if you are having uh so let's go and uh let's go and try standing on it maybe maybe we can actually go and see if this will probably be like an elevator or something don't worry about it we'll try it out here whoa oh wow we're actually gonna go and head right down here whoa yeah that's not good at all Jeez. uh, uh here comes again <laughs> well i guess we're gonna fall right through the hole i guess uh-huh <laughs> Yeah, so it was literally an elevator. Uh, so it works, so I'm going to go and see where it takes me. So I'll call you guys over if everything is alright. So I'm coming with you. Yeah, me too. Alright, so everyone is all ready for action here. So, okay, we'll all go. Awesome. Now, also, too, hope you guys do go and check out on the Brilliant Diamond Let's Play slash Wedlock for our series that is going to be going on right now uh, on that episode. Uh, we are going to be going and uh, hopefully grabbing out on Heat Ran, which that is going to be really cool if we can do that. Now, uh, while coming down here, now this area is going to be pretty dark, so you want to be a little bit careful while making your way in here because uh, it is a little bit hard to see, but I'll try and make sure that the brightness is actually somewhat okay for us to go and do here. Yep, so we got ourselves a Strooper, and hey, I think uh, he's actually in the back. Yeah, it's a preemptive strike, so let's go in for the attack, shall we? Nice. All right, well, I know that's not going to really do anything too much, but... Yeah, you know what? I should have just went and uh, went out for a nice good fire damage right there. So now he's actually going to be turning around and probably going to do another attack on me. Well, he's going to slap me in the face. Ouch. Okay, well, that's not going to work out here today, dude. You know what? I got another... Another one with your name on it here. How about you take a fire damage? And let's see how much that's going to do. I know that we already went and battled one of these guys from before in the past. And these guys were basically super simple to get knocked out. Because that is super effective damage right there. Alright, so not too shabby at all. Okay, nice. And also, counter also is now fully upgradable. Or, well, fully accessible now, I should say. Uh, for us to go and uh, use that at any point. But very cool. Alright, so keep on making our way down here and just keep on following this path. Now, I think while we keep on making our way down here, there is going to be some parts of this area where it is going to start becoming, uh, like, like it'll start, like, kind of, like, splitting, uh, into, like, other different sections of, of this place. So you want to be a little bit careful about what goes on from here. Now, there is a chest up ahead, and unfortunately, I can't really go and grab that right now, but there is going to be a switch somewhere that I do need to go and, uh, kind of press on that, and that should hopefully help us out a little bit. Now, I think it has to be at the very bottom of this place here. Now, watch out for these guys. We already went and encountered with these annoying zombies from before in the past. They do actually have a move called Roulette, which if we see from before, they actually do a lot of freaking damage. And we have to be really careful with this. All right, so just keep on going for your attacks. Watch out for the strike. 
Uh, I should probably go and heal up on Vivi after this battle so that we can be a little bit careful for what goes on here. Uh, is that going to be a knockout? No, not a knockout on the other guy though. Uh, let's see. Nah, not going to really go and do the trick there. But maybe Dagger's move can do it. Yes, alright, sweet. Get those zombies out of our face. Uh, I don't really want to be having to go and deal with any more with those guys for the time being. Nice, got some magic tag as well. Always make sure to have those magic tags with you because since we are going to be seeing some of these zombies, uh, they will actually uh, have a, a really annoying uh, status element, which uh, we do need to have magic tag for that, uh, or else that would not be good at all. Um, I guess we could go for, a, well, let's go for some potions, you know, we actually have like a whole bunch of these potions here. I don't really want to be going out of my way and just kind of just burn it through my uh, high potions though. Alright, there we go. I think we're doing somewhat okay here. Nice. I don't want to go too crazy with the potions because I know that we have like another fight with Armorant that's going to be coming up at, at uh, well, 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 we do have our very first fight with Armorant. That's what I should be getting at here. Uh, now there should be a switch right in this little area and all we have to do right now is just go and push on it and it should drop down with a uh, with a chest there for us so there we go so now you can actually go and pick this guy up get ourselves a phoenix down always good for that but now we get ourselves into another battle uh, yep we're just gonna get ourselves bombarded with battles after battles over here uh, we're literally like within six minutes and three or four battles have literally occurred now this is also a new guy as well this is also another undead uh creature uh so you want to be a little bit careful with this fight uh, as well too you could actually go for uh uh for a life if you want to and actually just completely knock out on the on, on the draco zombie here because i'm pretty certain if you actually go and do that i think it, you can just literally just knock these guys out here pretty quickly oh no oh there you go see Simple as that. I was a little bit afraid because I didn't see the damage marker there. Yeah, but yeah, most of these enemies are basically undead. So you can just go and just literally set up with life. Boom, already knocked out. That same goes for the soul cage as well. Very quick and simple, easy fights. But if you are having a little bit of trouble or you don't have life, I think bio can also work as well, which that'd be really nice. All right, come down this way here. Get ourselves another free high potion. Always good for that. Now, make your way down here, and there is an actual switch that we do need to go and uh, open up here. And uh, now, this part gets really annoying because now we actually don't know exactly where the heck we're going here now. There should be a switch. I want to say that's just right. Oh my god. Yeah, this is going to be really annoying because most of the. Because, like, this little side path is just, like, so annoying. Just getting your stuck, like, completely everywhere. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. More zombies! Hooray! just what I want to see not really <laughs> here let's go ahead and use up a fire damage there hopefully that should be hopefully enough that can actually be able to go and take care of these guys without any type of problems at all all right let's see Zidon go for your move nice knocked out on the zombie there let's see if we could go and use dagger and also uh, Ico's moves so that we can be able to go and knock out these guys Alex watch for the strike don't want to be too careful all right and that should do, go and do the trick yep there we go all right finished off with you now i believe there's like two chests that are down in here or is that gonna be the next room i can't always i can't really remember correctly for all i, I was watching some uh some practice recordings uh well well some practice other gameplay from other people so i can try to figure out exactly where to go yeah i think there's two chests that are just right down below there uh now i think we just go ahead on around here there should be hopefully a switch or somewhere so ah here we go yeah, there you go. Press on this switch, and now actually go all the way back up to the very top of our room from the last time. And this is where we can actually get ourselves known as the Healing Rod. If we can actually go and pick it up without having to get stuck around the sides, there is a dawn. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Run, 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 run. Alright, thank you. <laughs> Yay, we got the Healing Rod. Now let's go all the way back down and get out of here. Oh my god, really? <laughs> uh, <laughs> why? <laughs> well, you know what? The good thing is, is that once we hopefully get everything finished within this whole entire area then we don't have to come back to this annoying place anymore god and there's actually gonna be three of them this time around uh now this could actually get really scary because one of these guys will probably actually have roulette and that would not be a good idea uh. all right uh let's go and do another attack here we'll see if vb can actually go and uh, light up on these guys i may probably have to go a step right either at some point and just kind of help out vb or go for a tent, you know, because like, you know, I haven't really used up, up, up like any of my tents so far, and I think I should probably go and do that. 
just so that I don't have to go and have to worry about having to ouch have to really go and worry about all that here we go roulette who's gonna die first uh, uh, I don't know this is really bad please do not knock me out please knock out the zombie oh my god he actually went and knocked himself out haha <laughs> nice try dude <laughs> that was actually one thing that I was kind of expecting for, but sweet, that man actually helped us out there. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Yay, roulette actually worked in our favor, not the other way around from the last time. <laughs> nice, we also got ourselves soft and another magic tag. Always good for that. Because unfortunately, we can't really go and buy out magic tags right now, or we could have went and done that at Code Name I can't really remember exactly, but... Anyways, let's just go and set up for a tent, because I need to go and do that. Oh, wow, we can't even set up for a tent? Ugh. Well, I guess we have to go and wait until a freaking, uh, I guess, uh, for a Moogle to show around up here at some point. Alright, we just have to be really careful with our, uh, Ethers then, I guess, for a little while. Which I really shouldn't be too bad. It should, like, this area's not all that too, uh, too long. Uh, but let's just go and keep on moving around here. And keep on heading down like so. Just don't get yourself stuck like what I'm doing right now. And that is how we get it. Hey, and we also got ourselves annoyed. I think that was uh, what we needed to get done, I think, with our Gladius. So I think we could actually go and move right on over to the actual Roots Tooth, our next upgradable uh, weapon that's going to be here, which that would be very handy. Uh, let's see. Yep, so Annoy is actually finished. So Roots Tooth, let's go and give that over to you. And I think we are set and ready to go for that. Okay, so let's go and keep on making our way down below. We're getting very really close. Okay, yes, yeah, so we already hit that switch already. Now come down this way if you want. Very cool. Hey, and we also got ourselves a Peridot. I didn't really know that these guys actually carry Peridots. All right, so there you go. If you are missing out on uh, on a Peridot from Ramu, uh, they also do have them as well too, not just only just the Griffins. Ah, uh, Lamia's Flute, that's exactly what I wanted. Nice. All right, and here we go. Got ourselves, well, what was that? I think that was an Elixir there. <laughs> now, also too, don't want to forget about this. But you want to go and make sure that you actually add in the lamb this flute because then we'll be able to actually have a thing known as float as well too all right uh so let's go and move on ahead let's get the heck on out of here uh, well you know what we, we got ourselves life here we can just go and uh, put life there and make this guy disappear and now he is not here anymore nice okay Awesome. Hey, and we also got ourselves Jelly Hole already finished as well, too. So, yes, the very little uh, weak uh, AP abilities are getting finished as what I, exactly what I want it to happen there for. So, very nice. All right, now we got ourselves this weird type of green area that is all about here with the actual tree itself. But everything up here, look every, uh, look withered. This place looks, looks totally different. Yes, it does. So, it's so bright, I can't just see the bottom. Huh. Whoa, that's a lot of mist going on here as well, too. I guess that we should go and try and get to the bottom of this. Yes, we should. But that's a long way down as well. Huh. Well. Hey, Prox, I think I found something here. What is that? That looks like a leaf to me. Maybe uh, it'll move uh, like the last one. Uh, it didn't move when I got on. But you should. Uh, you stood on it? Huh. Well, that's kind of weird. Well, why don't we go and try getting on? Yes, we should. Huh. All right, well, let's go ahead and do that, of course. Now, uh, I think from what I also did tell you guys about the Soul Cage is that it does have three items that we can also go ahead and do. Uh, it will basically go ahead and steal. Uh, there is actually the Brigadine, which we can actually go out and grab already uh, during our time making our descent here already to our next destination. Uh, but not only that, we can also get ourselves a Magician Cloak, and we can also get ourselves uh, not only that, but I think also a Phoenix Down as well, too. So... And really, uh, it's some like you don't really need to go and grab out all these items from the soul cage all that too much because again, uh, this soul cage is not actually the actual soul cage that we're actually gonna be going and battling with because I believe this is actually a illusion type of a, 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 or type of boss that, that that's going on. It's kind of like the whole thing with like the whole uh, Groudon type of situation that happened in Mystery Dungeon if you guys remember or do recall from the series that I did for Explorers of Sky where we actually did battle out of Groudon but the Groudon was like super easy to go out and take down but it wasn't the actual ground on that we were going to be fighting with it was just an illusion from oopsie well we uh, so uh oh we got ourselves some zombies first oh great something that i did not want to have to go and see already but i guess we have to go and do it here 
Let's go and basically, uh, let's see, we got ourselves, uh, let's go for a normal attack here, black, uh, yeah, let's go for some black magic here, go for another attack, alright, seems like these guys are not going for roulette yet, so, we're fine, nice, 700 damage from the roost tooth, did a little bit better damage there, uh, come on, hopefully Vivi's fire up can actually go and put in the work, and maybe we can kind of will down these guys a little bit more, nice, so that's already a done deal with one of the zombies, Nice, that is another nice good hit there. I'm gonna go. Oh, here we go, another roulette. Uh oh, this is not good. Uh, please do not. Just go for yourself, please. Can you do that again, just like from before? Uh, yes, second time works like a charm. He's gonna go for himself and actually Oko himself here. <laughs> nice. That is how we get it done, guys. And yeah, sweet. So one battle on the leaf is done. Now, this guy feels a little bit like Chrono Trigger a little bit, where you have to like go down that elevator uh, at like I think around like somewhat around like the end of the game, somewhere around there, and you just have to like literally just constantly just keep on battling out like a whole bunch of enemies over and over again. Now, unfortunately, there's like no save point. I I, I remember that that one was crazy. Uh, just doing that whole elevator mission in Chrono Trigger that like took me quite a while. I remember when I did that last play. I think I died once or twice. I think on that elevator itself, it had to go and literally restart that whole entire part all over again because you only get like one save inside that area and that is literally right on the actual ele like just starting at the elevator and starting to make your way down which that is crazy and if you just make like one mistake you're kind of done uh, well i guess we'll just keep on heading down here and making our descent I, I don't know if i have to like just go and talk to you guys i guess i wonder what's the matter with vivi so vivi what's going on man so what's wrong vivi you've been lost uh, in a thought for a while Oh, Prox, I've been thinking about the mist. Do you remember the factory that we saw at Dally? Well, yes, of course. Yes, the factory where black mages were being made. Oh, huh, black mages. Uh, they look like a lot like Vivi. Dagger. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Uh, it's okay. I'm not upset anymore about being made and everything. Oh, uh, Vivi. Uh, anyways, the, the factory had a lot of mist inside, right? Oh, yeah. Well, that was a huge machine filled with mist. Well, that's right, and there were those uh, strange eggs that we saw. Uh, there's got to be a connection between the Mist, Kudra, and the Black Mages. Well, could be. So I'm all, uh, so I'm so confused. Hmm. Another one's headed this way. Oh goodness. Another battle. All right. Who is it going to be this time? Is it going to be more zombies? Because this is just going to be really annoying if it's going to be the case. Uh, let's see. No, it's actually one of these guys. All right. Well, this is going to be simple enough. Right, let's just go and set up for a nice, good uh, life here. Uh, let's just go for a normal attack. I'm not really all that too worried about it unless if he's gonna start setting up for something that's gonna be really scary uh, Let's go for a uh Oh, I think I went for the wrong white magic. Oh, no. Oh Well, that was just bad. Ugh. I Wish I should have known about which one was gonna be unfortunately uh, here for this uh, type of story is that like uh, Okay, let me just go for an attack go for a fire damage then ouch strike just be very careful guys uh, uh let me just set up for a life here if things are gonna get a little bit too crazy yeah let's go set that up <laughs> yeah i don't know why they have to give us like literally like two white mages oh but there we go anyways that guy's already down to finish with <laughs> don't even have to even go and worry about using up my life right now uh, i'm good with that all right, sweet. It also got us a high potion as well, too. They didn't even need to even go worry about having to even steal that off. But yeah, we actually have like quite a bit of magic tanks now since we've been kind of going out and stealing already. But hey, I can finally see the bottom. Uh, so deep. Uh, so I don't know what that's down there, but we'll soon find out, of course. All right, here we go. And we made it down to the bottom, folks. Now, I don't know if there's going to be a Moogle up ahead, but that would be nice if there is. But come with me. Uh, are you going to uh, make a, a helpless little girl like me go all by herself? Uh, well, I don't think so. Wait, there must be uh, some monsters lurking there. Uh, say, Prox, Mog said that he sets life down here, so do you sense anything? Yeah, but you sense it too, don't you? We don't even need Mog to even tell us that there's life down here. You're right, so I can go and tell her there's something down there. Huh, interesting. Now, if you actually go and head into that little middle section down there, whoa, that is so cool. That is so neat. But yeah, if you head into that little mill section that's around there and just kind of look around in the back, you can actually go and tell that there is actually a, a brand new item that we can actually, or well, brand new uh, accessory that we can actually go and give to the Dawn, and this will actually help us out with the ability up situation that we are kind of missing. And uh, there we go, got ourselves the Brigadine. So all good 
it ready is set at all good to go here for that uh let's just go and get everyone all cured up and ready to go we don't really need to worry about uh this all that too much uh about about the boss but i do however want to get everyone back up to uh full health and whatnot and just be uh perfectly set and ready to go for this all right so vivi Iko, how's you guys doing now so you could go see some sparkling water down below it's really pretty maybe the mist comes from that water down there so the ifa tree is the source of the mist hmm well maga is a little scared but so is the sparkling water that's is a little bit thingy so it's so pretty uh so hey uh prox uh come watch it with me all right sure really okay come here but I can see it from, from from here. No, it has to be romantic. Oh, oh, eh. oh! What the heck? Yeah, I do have to say that does look pretty interesting. Uh, so, Aiko, you're not watching the sparkle, are you? Uh, I was watching the sparkle reflected in your eyes, Prox. Oh, jeez. Uh, is this what I've been putting dagger through? Huh. Well, I better go from easy on her from now on. Jeez. <laughs> All right, well, I think we should probably go and uh, check back with Dagger. Maybe there's something else that I missed around here. What could this be? Could this be a plant? It also could be looking like a machine. Shoot, what do you mean machine? Well, sure, it doesn't look like any other type of normal tree. Yeah, it's weird, though. It's it's inside the tree that looks like this. Yeah, it does. Huh, I wonder where else I could go from here. I'm trying to remember exactly what I need to do. Maybe I just have to just kind of go and head out from this way. Oh, it's moving. Interesting. Uh, so it's just my imagination. Uh, so much for Kuja. None of the lackeys are here either. Uh, well, or maybe we have to go down there. Maybe we do. But we still got enough time to still go and take care of this boss. Well, Prox. Uh, what's going on? What's up? Uh, Mog's saying uh, s something is coming from above. From above? Uh oh. Uh, Dagger, come here now. Uh oh. Well, this is not good at all. Dagger! Let's go and uh, help out with Dagger here. Maybe uh, we can go and pick her up. Are you right? Uh, sorry, I was just a little started. Something wrong? Over there. Uh, it's them. Uh, we better go too. Can you stand? Yes, let's go. All right, let's make a run for it. Oh, geez. Uh, so look, the wall's moving. Oh, you're right. It looks like it's alive. Uh, Aiko, Vivi. Uh, so Prox, the wall's shaky faster. It's here. Whoa, there it is. What was that? Yep, here he is, the the boss himself, the soul cage. So it was a Kuja. Huh, so what's going on? I can hear a voice inside my head. You just said, Kuja, where is he? Huh, so I do not know. Uh, so what are you doing here? Uh, so are you the one who makes the mist? Uh, it's not produced. Mist is by a product of the refining process. It's discharged through the roots. Discharge. Uh, so that's set for the continents through the roots, right? So, but why? Why would you go and do that? I contaminate the other continents with the mist to stimulate the fighting instinct. Uh, so in turn leads to war among the leaders of the nations and then to the fall of the civilization. Kuja merely puts uh, uh, the byproduct into different use. So different use? Then what is Kuja trying to? I cannot lie. Kuja used the waste product to make weapons. Weapons like yourselves. Huh, so he's really taking me off. I can kill him. Wait, Aiko. What kind of weapons does Kuja make? Kuja called them black mages. Dark spawns of the mist. So the factory in Dali was really defeat me no more like mist will flow and then no more weapons like this puppet here will be made answer me puppet do you deny or you're very uh why you uh no more vivi uh, i won't let you make any more uh, instruments of murder way to go vivi i know that must be hard for you we can't uh, we can knock off uh, this rat right now all right let's go bust him up who knows I might even lure kuja here so i've seen the end of, of my thousand year life and it's not now you cannot stop me it's futile, uh, even to try. All right, and here we go, guys. The battle with the soul cage. Now, this guy can actually be somewhat pretty scary. He does actually have level 5 death, which it is going to be a one-shot kill, just like from what the last time that we had seen. So, it's not going to be like uh, like roulette from last time, but here we go. Let's see on how I can go and steal most of his items. So, again, you don't really need to go and steal out his items. I'm just going to go and do it just for the sake of just trying to get some steals off. But that's about it. Uh, we can go for some fire damage here, of course. Fire damage is kind of good as well, too. Uh, but let's go just go for a steal this time around. Kind of just go and burn him down a little bit. Oh, so now fire start. Now, that's not a good idea, technically. Uh, because what's going to happen here is is that he's going to actually uh, bust out with this thing known as fire blades. And you do not want to be actually doing this. I'm just showing this off just for the sake of like a, a very craziness stuff that goes on from here. But yeah, just be very careful uh, for when you actually go and decide to do that there. 
Uh, but I'm just gonna go set for high posts to jump back on everyone. Yeah, now shockwave is also something that's also pretty scary as well too. You want to be really careful about with uh, with that going on. All right, uh, we're gonna go to steal. We actually do have trance off, which that's pretty nice. We could get them and just set up for a, a nice good attack or something like that. Hey, okay, so we got ourselves a magician cloak. That's exactly what I wanted to. Uh, let's go for Kira on everyone. Ouch. Um, let's just go for another attack. Um, let's see. Another attack there. Steal. Ouch. Dagger, no. Oh. Well, we kind of... Oh, there we go. And we also got ourselves the Brigadier, guys. All right, so now we just have to kind of play it very carefully now because unfortunately I did win a knockout on Dagger. Unfortunately, uh, it, it went for a Muster Bomb attack, which it like did like a lot of damage. Um, I'm gonna go and basically start for a high post in here and get Dagger back up in action. Uh, I'm gonna. Oh wait, I don't have to go and steal anymore. Ah, why did I go and steal? <laughs> why did I hit the wrong button by mistake? Dang it! No, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, all right, here we go. Let's start for a life. Let's just one shot this guy. Yeah, watch out for the fire damage though. That could be a somewhat of a problem. Uh, ouch. Uh, wow, that actually knocked on my prox. But not to worry. This life should be able to just be a one-shot deal and just get this guy out of here and finish with. There we go. And is that going to work? Yes, it does. Sweet. And Soul Cage is gone. That is how we get it done. Sorry, sorry, prox. Uh, unfortunately, you didn't really get yourself... Uh, uh, any type of EXP as well, but not to worry. Uh, we will be going and doing that armor at fight, so you should be able to hopefully be able to get quite a bit of some extra uh, more uh, EXP from that. But yeah, so I believe uh, for uh, for the armor at fight, uh, he does actually have poison knuckles, which I do believe that that is one item that, of course, armor it does have, and it is quite of a little bit of a hard steal as well. But we'll try our best for it. But nice. Got all three items from the soul cage, but got some more FMV cutscenes once again to see how epic this is. So now I think everything is going back to normal. It looks like there's no more of that uh, fog anymore. So very cool. Eh. There we went and uh, basically saved uh, the whole Ifa tree that was here. So no more uh, soul cage inside there anymore. I still have to say, still to this day, I think the FMV cutscenes still look really good for its time. And, uh, and also, too, uh, fun fact, uh, this was uh, one of the games that I am mistaken that was around like during the last bit of the PS1's lifespan. So so to basically see that for this last of the Final Fantasy games to be a part of the PS1 and for them going all out with all the different FMV cutscenes is pretty cool. And I still have to say, I, I, it, for me still too, I still personally like uh, Final Fantasy VII's FMV cutscenes as well, which I really did like about those because again, Final Fantasy VII was the very first uh, was the very first Final Fantasy game that I ever uh, played like like throughout my childhood. So I do have to say that that was still a very fun game, and I still do want to go and still do a let's play for Final Fantasy VII. It's just that I may probably go and jump back, uh, not from Final Fantasy VII remake uh but i'll probably go and do the actual ps1 version of final fantasy 7 at some point and same with final fantasy uh and same with final fantasy 8 as well too because i actually do have that game as well in my collection of stuff but uh wait i go uh, what's up uh, someone stole something precious from the village oh great well that's not good well let's go ahead back so thanks but what about kuja i mean it's sorry it isn't that far so he can't wait he can wait of course there's always time that we can go and wait. All right, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, in the next one, I guess what we're going to do is uh, just basically make our way back to Medan Sari, I think. And uh, hopefully I can go and figure out where a Moogle is going to be at. So I'll see you guys in the next one.